Vicki. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, so I just invite you to find your comfortable spot. And we'll get started. All right. So we are here today on this beautiful Friday, this one Friday from Good Friday. So as we begin to prepare ourselves to enter Holy Week, let us just take a moment to place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. I just invite you to close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Take a few nice deep breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. And just taking a little inventory of your body here, just relaxing those shoulders, sitting up tall, breathing deeply and fully, filling up those lungs. And on your next deep breath, let's take a nice deep breath as we inhale, reaching the arms up, just elongating the body. Let's place the palms together and draw them down to the heart. And so I just invite you to settle in here, staying lifted up off of those hips, engaging that core nice and strong in your powerhouse here through your center. And so as we take a moment to place our special intentions in our heart, I just invite you to allow the Holy Spirit to fill you with whatever he would like to fill you with today. And so let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you, your sons and daughters, and we praise you and we thank you for the gift of this beautiful day. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of our bodies, for the gift of our minds, of our hearts. In whatever way, Lord, that you would like to speak to us today, we just ask you to help us to open up our hearts. And we thank you, especially, Heavenly Father, for the gift of your Son, Jesus. As we prepare for this upcoming Holy Week, we ask you, Jesus, to penetrate our hearts fully and completely and go to those areas that we may continue to hold from you. We lift up all of our worries, our anxieties, our disappointments, our unmet expectations. Whatever it is, Lord, on our hearts that is creating a disturbance, we place it at the foot of your cross right now. And we know because your beautiful Blessed Mother is just a lovely witness and a faithful disciple that she will present all of that to you on a beautiful golden platter wrapped up with a lovely bow. And we thank you, Jesus, for the gift of Mary. And so today as we pray through the fifth sorrowful mystery with this beautiful fruit of perseverance, Lord, help us to persevere. Help us to see you in all that we do, all that we say, all that we think, all that we feel, and help us to persevere. And we ask all this in your name, Jesus, through the intercession of our beautiful Blessed Mother Mary. Amen. All right, so I will invite you to come to your posture of strength here. Whatever that looks like for you, we're just going to come to a full plank if you are comfortable doing that. Let's take a deep breath in as we contract all of those core muscles, soften those shoulders. And as we exhale, just gently floating ourselves down into a resting posture. We just rest here for a moment as we listen to the reflection for today. So today's scripture comes from Colossians chapter 1. May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. 
And this reflection is from St. Padre Fio. Some people are so foolish that they think they can go through life without the help of the Blessed Mother. Love the Madonna and pray the rosary, for her rosary is the weapon against the evils of the world today. All graces given by God pass through the Blessed Mother. And so let us pray. Jesus, you call us to perseverance. You call us to continue in the good fight. You call us to this perseverance in joy, not in sadness, not in despair. And so help us, Jesus, to call upon your Blessed Mother today and every day as we pray our rosary because it is the weapon of our time. It is the way that you cast out evil from our lives and keep us close to you, connected to your most sacred heart. And so we ask you, Lord, to help us to persevere today in whatever you are calling us to persevere in. And we know that through your grace, your will will be done. And we ask all this in your name, Jesus, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary. Amen. All right, so as we contemplate that difficult yet beautiful virtue of perseverance, let us come and persevere in our strong strength posture here. So making sure those hips are down, your body is good and strong, your abdominals are drawing in towards your back, your shoulders are away from those ears. If you're adding those push-ups, I just invite you to do that slowly and gently but with control going down and lifting up as you breathe. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. All right, so we will come to a seated posture. So just bending those knees, your feet are flat to the floor. Let's take those hands behind the quadriceps here. We're just going to let the back round for a moment. Engaging the core here so you can feel those contracted core muscles. So rounding the spine, if you can, just very lightly with the hands. And then as we lift up, we're going to reach the arms up over the shoulders. So we want to exhale. And then inhale as we lift. Exhale. So just engaging the core, letting it round. And then strong, lift it up as you lengthen the spine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. All right, let's hold it right here. Let's take the hands down. You can either place them to the floor for a little more support. You can take them behind the quadriceps again, or super extra challenge, just leave those arms extended out. We're gonna take one leg and just extend it out to the front. We're gonna be reaching back and returning. So just alternating here. If you need a little more balance, just bring the arm across. If you like to keep those hands to the floor for balance, and if that leg starts to get heavy, just press it down to the floor, but gently without too much weight on the leg. So using those core muscles to contract and hold the body strong. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. All right, let's place that foot down. Let's take a little second here to just round the spine, to opening up that spine here, just lengthening. And then from the crown ahead, let's draw the body back up. So sitting up tall, let's take it to the second side. So opposite leg extends out. Again, you choose what you like. 
You want to just come across with the hand to the floor, resting the leg if that's better for you. Whatever the body is allowing you to do today, I just invite you to persevere. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. All right, lowering that leg down. Let's take the hands behind. We're going to roll the body with control. Let's try not to fall. So gently down with control as we draw the knees to the chest, just holding on gently to the backs of the legs. And then finally letting that upper body just rest fully to the floor. We're opening up the shoulders. We're kind of separating those shoulder blades so they are relaxed flat to the floor. We're gonna keep one knee drawn to the chest as we take the second leg extending out. And then we switch. So both hands go behind the leg if you're able and just draw it gently, but with control to the chest. Feel free to keep your head to the floor. If you like a little extra, you can raise the head, neck and shoulders. Same movement here. And also to modify if you're more comfortable, you can just alternate the legs, extending it out right to left. So engaging the core, breathing, and really deepening your focus on that virtue of perseverance. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The same movement, we're going to take a leg and straight, straighten it up towards the sky. So drawing the leg just gently in. If you can reach behind the hamstring, perfect. Keeping the knee soft, lifting the head or resting it to the floor if that's more comfortable for you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. All right, we're gonna draw both knees to the chest. Let's rest the head if it's not already there. We're gonna place the feet to the floor. Just take the hips, gently lift, place the hands underneath. So they're gonna go below your tailbone. So they're just helping to keep that lower back protected. We're not arching the spine in any way, but we're just keeping those hips to the floor. We're gonna draw the knees to the chest one at a time and then extend both legs up if you're able. If you wanna modify with one leg, please feel free to modify at any time. We're gonna draw both legs together, lowering down as we exhale. At the bottom, it's a little flutter kick. Feet come back together, and then they raise back to the sky. So try not to hold your breath at any time. So exhaling down, Breathing in, exhale as you flutter, inhale as you hold, exhale as you move back to the top. Inhale as you hold, exhale as you move. You're just slow and steady, going at your own pace. Close your eyes, perseverance. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And we're going to take the feet, just placing them to the floor one at a time. Let's separate our feet just a little bit. You can remove those hands. Let's reach the arms up over the shoulders with a giant breath. Deeply and fully into the lung. And as we exhale, just let the body melt back to the floor. So softening the arms, just letting them rest over your head if that's comfortable. 
And then one more deep breath, lengthen the body, reaching the arms up, and then taking the legs one at a time and reaching them down and away from the waist. So pointing the toes, just stretching, lengthening the body. Let's take one more deep breath. And as we exhale, once again, just melting the body down, letting it just soften, relax. Let the legs go naturally. Soft bend in the knee, let the ankles relax. Fingers relax. Elbows, shoulders. And so the palms are facing up towards the sky. Let's offer back to the Lord any time that we have not persevered as he has called us to. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And then on your next deep breath, I just invite you to take those hands, place them all over your heart, and then just come comfortably to a posture of rest if you like to bend those knees. Perhaps you'd like to be on your side. Or if you prefer to be seated, I just invite you to rest here gently for a moment. So as we contemplate the beautiful virtues that we prayed throughout this week, we prayed for a resignation to the will of God. We prayed for purity for moral courage, for patience, and perseverance. And so wherever your heart is drawn today, I just invite you to offer that to the Lord as we walk towards our final destination to join Jesus at the cross. And we ask our Blessed Mother Mary to assist us, to intercede for us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And on your next deep breath in, I invite you to open up your arms. Just letting those palms be open and receptive. And then let us slowly return to our seated posture. Just moving slowly, gently, however that works best for you. And just coming up, having a comfortable seat where we began. Our hands come back to that prayerful posture here. The shoulders relax, sitting up tall, head in alignment with your spine. Close your eyes if you're comfortable doing that. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for the gift of your presence in our lives. We thank you for your sacrifice on the cross. We know, Lord, that you truly persevered until the end because you love us and you want us to be united with you one day in heaven for all eternity. And so, Lord, we can't do this without you. We know that it is through your grace that we can persevere. And so if it gets a little difficult, Lord, help us to remember to call upon you, to call upon your saints, to call upon Mary, your blessed mother, 
to intercede for us. So that one day we will all be united together in your eternal kingdom. Give us the grace, Lord, and help us to persevere. And we ask all this in your name, Jesus, always through the intercession of your beautiful, blessed Mother Mary. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, my friends, have a beautiful Holy Week. We'll see you next week for our last week of Lenten Decades. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. God bless. Thank you.